So your question is, how do I request an IEP? You don't request an IEP, you actually request an evaluation. If you think that your child needs special education and related services, related services means, for instance, occupational therapy, physical therapy, um, anything that helps the child in addition to, for instance, the academics, you would request an evaluation. I always tell parents, put it in writing. If it's not in writing, it was never said. And writing is, is an email. I prefer an email um, rather than a mail or a note. If you do bring a note into the school, make sure that you have a copy and ask the school to stamp your copy. Okay, so basically you're going to send an email to at least three people, well, at least two people, preferably three, in case it goes into someone's junk mail or they get fired, and you want to send it to um, the teacher and the child's teacher and someone in administration, so the principal. It could also go to the special education coordinator, if you know who that is. You could always look it up online to see who the special education administrator or a director is for the school district. And the subject line should say your child's name and request for special education evaluation. And you can say, I'm the parent of, you know, uh, Johnny Smith and his age is uh, seven years old and his date of birth and his, he, go, he currently attends school, he's enrolled in this school district. Um, it doesn't have to be that detailed, but I, I like detail. <laughs> and you want to say, um, I'm requesting an evaluation for special education and related services. It doesn't have to use those magic words. You could even say, I'm concerned, but it's always good to say, I'm requesting an evaluation to be as specific as possible. Um, and I want you to evaluate in all areas of suspected disabilities. And actually, that's the requirement of the school. But you may want to say what you're concerned about. I'm concerned that he seems disorganized or he's struggling it with homework. Give examples. But when you do, don't. Um, you, what you want to say is he's um, experiencing problems such as. You don't want to say everything because they'll say, well, you didn't mention, you know, handwriting. Well, that's why you want to say some of his problems um, are that he's uh, reading slowly, he seems frustrated, um, he's you know disorganized, um, he's not making friends, he doesn't have friends, he comes home unhappy, whatever it is, and say, and these are just some examples. So the next step is that the school will convene what's called either, depends on your school district, a red meeting, which is to review existing data. Um, it's also called a pre-MET, multidisciplinary education team meeting, or a MET one. But basically, the school will meet with you and have a team of professionals, which would be the child's teachers, a psychologist, someone from special education, to address your concerns. And each teacher will say, you know, I, I see that Johnny's doing really well, or Johnny's struggling in spelling where well, Johnny's not focused. And so then this team, of which the parent is a member, parent's a member of everything having to do with education for the child, decides what do we need to test Johnny in? What kinds of tests should we conduct? And that's when the parent signs a consent form. And once the parent signs the consent form for evaluation, they're consenting to evaluations, um, the school has 60 days to complete it and convene a multidisciplinary education team meeting to discuss your eligibility. Now, here's the kicker. Um, the time clock for the 60 days does not start until the parent signs consent. So some schools might forget. They might delay, but they might just, whatever reason, not get around for another month or so or longer to convening the meeting. So the parent needs to follow up, make sure there's a, you know, an email going out the following week. Hey, last week I asked for an evaluation. You know, when are we going to meet? I want to give my informed consent. We give our clients an informed consent form. We have our own form. Um, and that will sometimes get the schools to meet with the, the, the parent because they'll say, hey, that's not informed consent, we didn't meet with the parent. At which point we say, well, you know, the parent gave you this request a month ago, 
Um, and also, if you find that the school is really dragging their feet, you can file a complaint with the Arizona Department of Education. You don't need an advocate, you don't need an attorney, you can just go online because that's a procedural requirement that the schools must meet. The law doesn't say how long after the parent requests that the schools must meet, but it's got to be a reasonable time. A month is not reasonable.